hi everyone now we are going to do a compressor overall video like we are going to change uh, low pressure valve for uh, JP Sour and Stone WP200 model uh, compressor it's a water cooled compressor so how we need to do the renewal of uh, LP valve for this compressor so first thing is uh, this compressor has a a lube oil line which is attached to suction filter so disconnect the suction filter line and so you can remove the filters so it's uh, it, working on a compressor is always very uh, interesting and you have to be very dedicated like you have to make sure you had understood all the procedure of uh, doing maintenance work in the compressor because compressor is a high pressure machine and uh, if you make any mistake it may lead into a major injury both to machine and uh, any uh, human who is uh, nearby the compressor while running so always uh, take uh, safety measures while working on a compressor so read the manuals properly so now our third engineer is uh, opening the screw for uh, nut for uh, low pressure valve so first uh, you have to take out the uh, suction filter so we just try to remove the uh, nut so all the nuts has been loosened and uh, you can see uh, all the nuts has been loosened so either you can take out the filter along with the cover or you can take remove the filter separately so all the nuts has been removed and uh, now we had installed two jacking bolts you can see two bolts those two bolts we need to jack so that the uh, low pressure valve lp valve flange will come out you can see now we had removed the filter and uh, okay so you have to jack the cover this is what you call it as a low pressure valve cover or you can say it as a liner for the valve so you can see inspect the valve you can see it inside though that's the one we are going to remove and replace with a new one the reason why we are going to change it is we are uh, having low pressure low efficiency of uh, lp valve we are, we are getting only uh, less than uh, three bar in the lp side where we supposed to get five bar so we doubt uh, that there may the valve is not okay either the plates got jammed or something so both junior engineer and uh, third engineer are working uh, for removing the valve cover so two jack pools both should be equally tightened so that you can see the cover is coming out then once it comes out then lift it you can see yeah, this is the cover and you can see inside this is the LP valve you can see as we suspected the valve got a lot of carbon deposits and uh, the valve might have got stuck yeah see when we are trying to remove it it has to come very easily but due to the carbon deposits on the body it is uh, getting stuck so like always uh, what we need to do is we have to little bit spray uh, WD-40 on the side valve of the LP valves so that uh, all those uh, carbon deposit can get precipitated and it will come out so we are still struggling to take out the valve and uh, this may be one reason why we are getting low efficiency from this LP side so we are just uh, shaking it so that uh, it will get loosened and you can take it out so you can see the dark color on one side of the valves a lot of carbon deposits and these deposits uh, might have stuck on the liner surface so that uh, the valve is not coming out somehow the third engineer managed to remove the liner out you can see a o-ring on top of the valve and you can see one side is completely deposits of uh, carbon the other side is clean maybe it indicates uh, uh, improper cooling and high temperature of uh, lube oil and you see two uh, o-rings on top of this uh, valve 
so always uh, make sure you are changing the renewing the valve o rings uh, you can see on the side there will be one on top there will be one so two o rings are available uh, means need to be there before installing the valves so so okay that's all so next thing is we need to get ready with the surface area of uh, the valve so all we need to do is we have to remove all the carbon deposits either we can do uh, using a wire brush like a soft wire brush so that the wire brush don't uh, disturb the body of the compressor our junior engineer is cleaning the compressor uh, valve area so yeah so cleaning should be done very properly so that uh, the valve while we are seating the valve inside it should go without any without any stucking so you can see we are using the wd-40 and uh, remove all those uh, carbon deposits so that is what we are doing uh, either uh, and this is the cover which we removed on top and this cover also you can see a lot of uh, uh, carbon deposits and one o-ring on side of it so remove the o-ring and don't forget to renovate always whenever you are taking out uh, the valve area for any inspection make sure you are renewing the um, o-rings so so what we need to do is before uh, changing the valve you have to ensure all the valve surface are free of carbon deposits if you just place back with the same carbon deposit and there is no point in changing the changing the valve so you have to clean you can see a lot of carbon deposits so we are going to do the buffing so what happens is uh, sometime uh, because of uh, lap of time lack of time people try to bypass the job they don't do the cleaning properly and that again will cause another problem means when you are changing a new valve the area should be very clean that is that should be kept in mind uh, like you are totally cleaning the area so you can see we are using the soft buffing machine and we are doing the buffing inside the inside and outside the area so next thing is we are opening uh, the new valve so before opening the valve always check uh, cross check with the part number and everything and then open it so this is uh, make supply make sure uh, the number part number and uh, model matches the same so you can see it is a brand new valve and our third engineer is removing the valve for uh, fixing it in the compressor so usually this uh, jp sour compressor has a bit bigger uh, valve but still it is very efficiency but in some other compressor you will be seeing like uh, you can find the valve size is very less like the diameter will be very less you can see inspect everything is new so nothing much to see all we need to do is we have to change the o-ring means we have to insert the o-ring on the other side we are uh, doing cleaning of the uh, cover you can see there is uh, no carbon deposits all deposits have been completely removed on the inner side we are just doing a cleaning again uh, with the long stem long stem uh, buffing wheel so yeah so always uh, try to find some way to clean remove the carbon deposits do not uh, uh, try to find a way for not doing the job always try to find a way how we can do the job so okay so now we are going to renew the o-ring and you can see our junior engineer is cleaning means having air and all just make sure no deposits is there and uh, we got uh, two o-rings one o-rings on the side of the cooler and I mean the side of the valve cover and one on the center of the valve cover so both o-rings should be in place intact so that is what uh, we are doing so first uh, o-ring has been fixed and the second o-ring the bigger o-ring will be on outside of the body 
so this o-ring when you are fixing you have to be little bit careful because uh, if you are not fixing it properly then the o-ring may get out of its screw and uh, there is it may it may fall off and it don't do it it don't do the purpose so again the next o-ring which is on the body so both the o-rings are fitted okay the next o-ring is also fitted so two o-rings have been fitted on the valve cover so additional then uh, once it is done just give a coat of uh, copper slip the copper slip is being uh, given and uh, once we are done the so next thing is we have to fit the valve in place so okay okay so next thing is uh, apply a coat of uh, lube oil the reason for applying a coat of lube oil is when we are fixing back it it will assist uh, the cover to go inside easily and again a coat of uh, lube oil inside the area so that uh, you can see a, a little uh, carbon is there Mm, we are doing the buffing to remove the carbon the idea why we need to remove it is uh, when you are fixing the cover then it may stuck it may get stuck because of this carbon deposit so you have to remove exactly the surface should be very clear of any carbon deposits and give you a coat of lube oil so again as i said lube oil will assist in fixing the cover okay so next is uh, fixing the lp valve so lp valve we are going to fix and uh, okay so before fixing the lp valve you have to uh, put some lube oil always and uh, this 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 is just for lubrication purpose nothing else and anyway even if you don't put also not a issue because uh, there is always a lube oil line which is connected to the lp valve as i, as I, as I earlier as i told and next thing is uh, okay so both the valves are in place So always check the o-rings, o-rings should be must. So total uh, we have three o-rings fixed inside. One on the valve body, uh, two on the valve body and one on the valve. So once you fit inside, just uh, turn it and see. Just give a turn and make sure it is uh, turning. That's all. So very simple only, but a little bit just turn and see okay okay that's all so next is you have to fit back the cover in place so main thing that we need to see is you have to fit the o-ring over the valve and two o-ring on the body and uh, make sure you are cleaning the valve surfaces properly so now it's time to fit back the cover in place so take the cover and uh, you very easily you have to fit so that uh, the o-ring don't get broke that is the idea you should not hit very hard so because if you hit very hard the o-ring inside the cover may get broke so it is not still uh, seated properly and uh, okay we are uh, still trying to fit it okay so once it is in place then remove the jacking bolt and uh, tighten the other nuts so again tightening follow the torque mentioned in uh, ma maintenance manual so accordingly you have to do and complete the job 
once tightening is done then fix the filter and the job is done so i believe this video must have given you some information about uh, how to fix low pressure valve for jp sor and so on a wp200 model compressor so next uh, we will show how to fix the high pressure valves so if you have any doubt please uh, inbox you can directly message me or comment in inbox definitely i will uh, reply your queries thanks for watching thank you all